different projects have different constraints. It's not a purely a technical decision. For us, it's mostly because we had a group of people who are already proficient with Rust, who are interested in working on this. Right. Second, the Rust ecosystem is already pretty mature for when it comes to like tooling for JS. There's there are a lot of crates, uh, and uh, people have worked on things like SWC and OXC. OXC, these are like low level language tool chains that gives you like parsers and transformers, uh, stuff like that. So when we build a bundler, we got to think about like, what do we build on top of? And in terms of like this layer, uh, Rust actually has a better ecosystem compared to Go. And a final important consideration is uh, we actually do still want our tools to be able to run in the browser. And the WebAssembly story of Rust is much better than Go's. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I never thought about that, but yet it needs to run in a JavaScript runtime. Uh, yeah. and, and you do that with WebAssembly. When we run it with Node.js or Bun, you know, it's actually the Rust compiled Rust binary. But if you want to run it in the browser, it has to be WebAssembly. So that's the distinction.